Hey guys, welcome back to The Game Replay, I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X for the Sony PlayStation 3. Good stuff. Okay, right before I started this part, I was doing some contemplating about a couple things, and well, I'll get into that, but not just this second, in a minute or two. And then we're gonna go over a couple things and take it from there. Good stuff. That's gonna be good. Alright, so uh, we're setting out. See Yuna going by and the Crusaders. Uh, and uh, I don't see class go, but yeah, there's some, you know, leftover Crusaders here. You can't defeat Sin with Machina. The summoners are our only hope. Yevon's teachings are the way. The Crusaders were fools for defying them. Here, take this. I don't need it anymore. We should live according to the teachings. I learned that the hard way. The Crusaders deeply regret their actions. I believe it's time to put the past behind us and forgive them. Yevon shall forgive those who seek redemption. Should you need a place to recuperate, please return. You are always welcome here. I believe the wounded soldiers will find solace in our prayers. The Crusaders have fallen apart, so I'm going to help out with guard duty here at the temple for a while. It's the least I can do to repay them for taking us in. And maybe I should quit the Crusaders and become a warrior monk. I beat myself up all night for taking part in that disastrous operation. Then a monk told me that if I had the time for remorse, I should spend it praying. He's right. It's my duty to pray for my departed men. The monk gave me this, but I think you should have it. I will pray for all my lost comrades. Off so early? Lady Yuna, you must be exhausted after working so hard last night. Will you be okay? <laughs> I feel that I have rested enough. But thank you for your kindness. Will you be leaving too? Yes. First we cross the moon flow, and then we head north in search of chocobos to replace those we have lost. Once we find chocobos, our mounted forces will ride again. Huh? Aren't you missing someone? Captain! Wait for me! What took you so long? We're leaving. You expect me to keep up with a chocobo? Lady Yuna, I wish you good fortune. Elma, Clasco, let's go. Ma'am. Hey, can I just rest a sec? No complaints. Where to next? We cross the Moonflow. Gotcha. Moonflow, baby, here we come. So it looks like the Moonflow is our next destination. It's where we're going to next. And the Moonflow is a pretty cool place. Yeah, so after all of that Crusader stuff and all the craziness and then, you know, right to the temple, now this is kind of like, uh, well, it's not so intense, but it's an interesting segment of the game, you know, this Moonflow stuff. Here's the thing, folks, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit because I know, I just know there is a, an Albed Primer uh, just a little bit behind me on this path. I'm actually going to be using the Flea ability from Titus while I'm here to, to do some fleeing because, uh, you know, now's not the time for battles. And along the way, back through here, uh, there's probably going to be a couple of Crusaders on this path. Uh, uh, preemptive strike. Thank you! I wish I didn't even have to 
click a couple buttons over to get the flea. Sin's attack has aggravated the fiends. I advise against going to Luca. Funny you should mention that. Folks, I'm going to tell you, in this part, what I'm going to be doing is uh, I'm going to be backtracking all the way to Luca. Yeah, I just said it. I'm going all the way back to Luca at least. I haven't totally made up my mind what I'm going to be doing. This is what I was thinking about before booting up, uh, you know, for this part, right after I recorded the last one, because I thought to myself, well, I have to go back for an Albed Primer. But here's the thing, I already did a full, complete walkthrough of Final Fantasy X before a little while ago for the PS2, PS2 version, and, you know, I did, I did pretty much next to everything in, uh, in that part. Ah, those battles. A lot of random battles here. And, uh... Hmm. Albed Primer. You know, I believe the Albed Primer is right here. But I must have picked it up, actually, after all. Yeah, it was, it was somewhere hiding behind a rock, but it looks like I took care of... Looks like it took care of things. So, uh, I got it. Oh, wait a minute! Was that? There it is! Okay, I was confused at first. Because I knew it was behind one of these rocks. You can see him sticking up all on the right side. Man, that one's really hidden, huh? Anyway, we got the Albed Primer. That's good. But now, going back to uh, talking about what I was talking about, I am going to backtrack all the way to Luca, and maybe... I don't know. I'm not going to say anything for sure. You know, absolutes right now. But I pretty much did so much in my Final Fantasy X PS2 walkthrough, but when the chance came for us to, uh, you know, backtrack uh, like we could have in that walkthrough, I just went on to the moon flow because, well, while there really isn't so much point and purpose going back, I thought that this time around, why don't we just kind of waste a part or two, and I, I'm not even going to say waste, why don't we take a part or two, and just kind of go back, because, well, after this, folks, after I record this PS3 Final Fantasy X walkthrough, not only am I not going to play this game for a long while, but, you know, when is the next time I'm going to record this game? When they remake it in, what, 50 years or something? 10, 20 years when they remake it? I don't know. They have to change something, they have to add something to it. Otherwise, I'm not going to be playing this game again and recording it. Supposedly, the warrior monks in the Guado will guard the high road now. Pretty soon, they won't need the crusaders around here at all. So I just thought it would be interesting to backtrack, and we can see some people just walking around, you know, not doing too much, but they have things to say. And it's just kind of interesting to not see again. what people are going to be doing. And saying, you know, after the aftermath of the whole uh, Operation Meehan thing, we can see different people and we can see how things have changed. The good news is we won't have to deal with a lot of random battles except for this part pretty much right here that we're doing right, right now. There's going to be battles here. I'm just going to try and get through this as fast as possible with Flea every time again, 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 again. And I'm doing this for a couple reasons, because, hey, why not? It could be fun to see people and talk to people uh, and see what they have to say. Uh, another reason, I haven't done this in a while myself, you know, throughout, you know, my last couple playthroughs, recording and just playing for myself. Fight, fight, fight. And it's been a long time. And uh, I'm doing this for another reason, because, you know, people like you may never have bothered to ever do this, which is understandable. What happens if you backtrack and see people and, you know, what do they have to say and is there anything going on at all? I'm offering prayers for all the soldiers who lost their lives in that futile operation. But, uh, it's kind of cool and this might be your first time, you know, witnessing, you know, what happens if you go back at a certain point. Oh, 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 oh,
flee. Yeah, I can just picture a lot of people out there that don't bother ever. Like, why? Why, why do we? Why do we have to go back? Why? Why should I go back now? I'm not gonna backtrack. There's no point. The action's ahead of us, not behind us. Stupid out bed, and leaving their junk behind. We can't get our cart through because this thing's in the way. Now we have to carry everything. How could they leave that crap in the middle of the high road? Yeah, so there was a person here, but I don't think they were really necessarily blocking these crates. We couldn't get over those crates, though, but now we can. Oh, random battle, of course, thanks. Damn random battle. Damn random battle. So now we can. And this is when the backtracking can really begin. I can't really... It's just this way. So this is pretty interesting. This is going to take us back to, like, the Operation Meehan Place part kind of thing. Chest right here. It's kind of funny. It's kind of odd, too. And then, like, softs. Okay, cool. Thanks. I wouldn't have picked that up until now. <laughs> like, why would they put that there? I don't know. That's just kind of silly. There's a lot of reasons to backtrack through this game. I should have slept in this morning. I could go into more details about backtracking or retracing your steps through Spira. And that's something I also did at the end of the game. And I'm probably gonna do that again, to be honest. Because that's also fun, and actually, well not necessary, but if you wanna do some certain things at the end of this game. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna say too much, but I'll just say, well, you should retrace your steps a little bit. This is probably a good part to watch while you're playing this game, actually, and uh, just kind of doing like some grinding, you know what I'm saying? Leveling up and grinding, doing that whole process. We can actually backtrack our steps this way, too, a little bit. There's a statue here. What is this statue of Meehan doing here? Hmm, there's a sword here, too. An offering to Meehan? There's really, you know, not much you can do with that whole thing. Just kind of an off area. But yeah, take note, right? Take note of that. You can always tell in Final Fantasy games, like, well, oh, hmm, this seems like it's here for a reason. It must be some kind of an extra thing at some point. So once we do finally get back to uh, the Meehan High Road, we can get right back on the Chocobo, and that's, you know, that's a nice thing. That can help us out. Because right here, throughout this little path, you know, there's a lot of random battles. We could probably also backtrack to the, uh, we can backtrack to the, like, battle site, you know? Remember, if we go around that path, but uh, I don't think I'm going to even bother, because, eh, backtracking's fun, but then I have to go through the whole path. Let's just take a little peek. I don't want to run down the whole thing. Yeah, I'm gonna have to... Ugh. Why am I doing this? I'm trying to just take a little peek. Yeah, see? Look at all that. There's probably a person or two. I mean, you know where that goes, so that'll just take us back there. And uh, it's, well, it's like a dead end. So then there'll probably be like some kind of person, a guard or something, just walking around there. I'll probably say something about Operation Meehan. But I don't wanna, I, even I am not gonna go all the way out of my way over there. Cause then we'll just Everyone, have to come back here. Sharp. Sometimes our characters will say things in battles. A couple of new lines of dialogue.
so yeah, as soon as we're off this path, then it's smooth sailing from here, at least. So this is interesting. That's a Guado. We still haven't really seen many of these Guado guys at all. The warrior monks in the Guado have joined forces to guard the high road. Normally, it is the Crusaders' duty. Maesters, Maester, Keenock, and Seymour consider the people's safety above all. It's like an odd bit of dialogue from this guy. I'm just a measly century now that the Crusaders failed. Why do I have to suffer for what those faithless morons did? The Crusaders have done their duty. From now on, the warrior monks in the Guado will protect Spira. Well, isn't that just lovely? So yeah, we're retracing our steps and there's actually like different characters in different spots, you know? And that's kind of the interesting sort of changes I was talking about. We are securing the high road under Maester Keenock's orders. Where did those maesters go to? That was a weird sentence that, what was it, the Guado said? He said, Maesters is Maester. Like, that's a little strange. All this stuff here the Crusaders left behind. They all ran away in a hurry. They caged a sin spawn in this? Damn fools. <laughs> Man, he's shouting his mouth out. Those out bed of no shame. They came all the way down here to make money. They have some nerve showing up here. It's their fault the operation failed. Sooner or later, we warrior monks will crush the Albed. Do you feel nervous at all? I mean, standing in front of this guy is just leering at you. Do you want to ride a chocobo? Yeah, let me ride one. Good stuff! And now things are quite convenient for us. Oh. Okay, um... We can go down here, I guess. There's not much. There's probably a person or two out in the main area. You know, actually, folks, I would be really interested to know uh, for how many of you people are watching. I know not everyone that watches likes to leave comments, but if you could just this once, I want you to tell me, have you ever ever bothered in all your playing or seeing or watching or whatever you or whatever it is you're doing how many of you have ever bothered backtracking uh at the moon flow part you know right before the moon flow part have you ever bothered coming back to luca or backtracking at all you know leave me your comments let me know if you've ever done that or if you've never done that at all and you, this is the first time you're seeing these little bits of dialogue and all this kind of stuff from these people we trained here before the operation back then we believed we could win we were green as grass. My chocobo was killed too. We fought so many battles together. The chocobos are very important to uh, the soldiers in this Final Fantasy world universe. You know, if I were beamed inside of this Spira world and I just was strutting down the street and I was like, Hey! How much money does it take to uh, get a chocobo to eat around here, you know? Can I get some chocobo legs? Can I get some choco breast, you know? I would like to uh, barbecue some chocobo breast and leg up. Real good, you know, some barbecue sauce and, I don't know, salt and pepper them. The road's finally open, so I'm planning on heading north. Actually, I'm kind of scared about going. A lot of people died there. I'll bet the dead soldiers became fiends and are creeping around. Man, that's morbid. That guy is a sicky, a twisted freak. Yeah, if I just strolled down like, uh, like Luca with all the shops and the people, I was like, hey, I'm kind of hungry. Can I get some chocobo meat around here? I want a choco burger? They'd probably look at me in disgust. Oh God! They'd probably call me an Albed, you know? Oh, I bet the Albed eat chocobo meat, eh? Yeah? <laughs> oh man! Ooh, I bet the Ronso eat chocobos too. Do we ever see a Ronso riding a chocobo in this game? I do not think so. I do not think so. 
Yeah, you'll do. You'll do just fine. Hello. You looking very healthy and spry. Oh my. Oh, it's so unfortunate what's gonna happen to you. Ha 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 Let's get off our chocobo here. I wonder. Ah. Well, that's all. That's all there is to do there. Well, might as well go inside this hut. I'm sure Rin has left. It'd be weird if he was still in here. Some crusaders. A fellow crusader and I promised to meet here after the operation and have some drinks. <sighs> that guy always keeps his promises. I'm not leaving here until he comes. I know what happened to his friend, but... I I just can't tell him. Yeah, you'll be drinking alone. Or with that other guy. You'll be drinking without your buddy. You should have some drinks, trust me, bruh. Everyone will be having drinks. Yeah, so some of the Crusaders will, yeah, stay around, you know, the Jose Temple. Some probably went over to where that Moonflow place is too, right? You know, it's right nearby. But yeah, probably a lot of Crusaders have come back this way on the route to Luca. It makes sense, right? So we're probably going to be seeing a lot of Crusaders along this path. A bunch of wounded Crusaders passed moments ago. They were all hanging their heads, crestfallen. It was too painful to watch. Cruel punishment for defying the teachings. Too cruel, I'd say. Yeah, there's another person. I thought about joining the Crusaders. Maybe I should join the Warrior Monks instead. I wonder how far I should take this, folks. It's almost weird, though, in a way, you know, as uh, our whole party, the Summoner Party, backtracking. Just the other day, the Crusaders marched through here. Sure is quiet now. I suppose only a summoner can defeat Sin. The teachings are right after all. Alright, Flip Flopper. You wanna get out of my way? Ugh. I mean, it's just kinda weird as Yuna and Titus and the rest of the people to backtrack all this way after we've made all this progress. Oh. Be able to talk to that person. I left the screen, and it's so fun when the it's so fun when the loading screens take so long. Don't you hate it? This could be an example in any game you're playing when this happens. That's just very obnoxious. And where where did that stinking old man even go to? Oh, there he is, all the way up here. It's a quiet, beautiful day, eh? I don't scare much anymore. Must be my age. If sin happens to show up, so be it. I'll just pray as the teachings tell me and go straight to the far plane. See, aren't you glad we got to see what that crazy old man would say? That was a man, right? I can't tell when they're old. Who can, man? Who can ever tell when they're old? It doesn't matter anymore. They're not people like us. Fiends stalk the area, but people just stroll through here anyway. It doesn't make our job any easier. Don't stray off the road. Make our job a little easier. Grouch, monster! The warrior monks are real stiffs. Really unapproachable. But I am grateful to them for guarding the high road. Where's that kid in his ball? I want to kick it with the chocobo leg. Ah, oh, hey. A warrior monk got mad at me. He said I can't play anymore because there are fiends here. I heard so much noise during the operation. Was that the sound of Machina? You know, you can really kind of see it all in the uh, background there, the mountains and the landscape. It's kind of cool. Yeah, over here you could probably hear a lot of the racket.
I am also interested in, you know, knowing about, you know, if you guys have never backtracked, though. I don't know why I find it so interesting to know, but I do. There was another uh, Guado. Yeah. Please rest assured, on Guado's honor, we will guard the high road. The Guado have always been like so forward and honest and like straight coming. Haven't they? That's annoying. Ah. <sighs> this is a statue of Lord Meehan, who founded the Crusaders several hundred years ago. Lord Meehan passed along this very road on his way to St. Pavel. Ever since then, this road has been known as Meehan High Road. Yeah, you're no machin. Lord Meehan faithfully followed the teachings, unlike the Crusaders these days. So I only get off now because we're at the beginning <laughs> of the uh, Meehan High Road here. Yeah, we're at the beginning. This is it, folks. We're going back to Luca. This is incredible. Yeah, so you can rent the Chocobo at the beginning or the end. You don't have to worry about a lot of random battles, you know, while backtracking. I hear the fairies back in service. An interesting note. We should never forget the folly of Operation Meehan. Such a tragedy must never happen again. The operation's failure should prove a good lesson to those who shun the teachings. Oh, come on! Why must you do that to me? That will be the last random battle for a long time now. What if we backtrack all the way to the beginning? It's gonna be such a long time before I ever play this game again. Here is a very interesting note. Remember when we left the last time, the guy on the bench? Look, the pets, they're waiting for their master to come home from Operation Meehan, but their owner's a crusader and he hasn't returned yet. They haven't eaten at all. They're waiting for their master to come home and feed them. I gotta tell you, that's actually really, really sad. Oh, that's kind of depressing. I hope the surviving crusaders rest well and recover quickly. <laughs> that is really depressing. Why do they have to do that? Oh man, they, they could have done it in a different way. They didn't, and they're just like right at the gate. They're looking down the pathway. Oh, all right, let's try and put that out of our heads. That's very depressing. But we're back in Luca, yeah? There's a lot to see here. And even though, yeah, I'm gonna go and see and talk to everyone, I'll try and zip through as fast as I can. Luca's so quiet now with all the Blitz fans gone home. And we can go back into the cafe. You know, things have settled down here. The operation's done, so all that drama and excitement has passed. Of course, the Blitzball tournament, so... Yeah, Luca's kind of in there like... It's like an ordinary kind of, you know, week for them. Even though the cafe is kind of busy. I'd imagine this place is probably always busy. Seems that summoners are disappearing from all over Spira, huh? Yeah, this little twerp is pretty clued in. So, shall we start a Blitzball tournament to console the defeated Crusaders? It may take a while for the Crusaders to recover. I wonder what they're gonna do now. There are warrior monks everywhere you look. I think it's an occupation. You're a good player, but still needs some work. If you want to get your hands on that thing, you'll have to win more games. <laughs> Listen, lady, what are you talking about here? Woof! Okay. 
you think you can just have one more drink, just one more. But as long as you think that way, you can never quit. Oh man, a little dose of reality from this guy, such sobering news. <laughs> That's kind of, there's been a lot of kind of downerist type talk coming back here with the pets and this, this guy and talking about drinking. What is going on in you? What is going on at Luca? With Operation Me and a failure, it's over for the Crusaders. Then do you want to become a warrior monk? I'll introduce you to our leader. What? We disobeyed the teachings, but it's still okay? Hey, we all help each other out in the time of need, right? It may actually be nice to quit the Crusaders and join the warrior monks. The Crusaders and warrior monks share a common desire to protect the people. Oh, well, okay, there's a little bit more of a happy note there. Not everyone in the... It's a mixed bag in there, you know, a little depression, a little happiness, and optimism. That's that's nice. All right, these three... You know, I have a feeling these three people probably have no other friends, and they always hang out here. You know, the same type of people that do the same thing, like, every day. I don't know, I get these vibes from these people, even though they're clones, and we see these people elsewhere on Spira. But still, these three, uh, I think I'd hate them. With only the Crusaders and the Albed helping, no wonder we lost. Where were the Ronso or the Guado? She makes a good point there. The warrior monks seem stronger than the Crusaders. I hope they'll protect us from now on. Only a few have returned alive. It's the worst defeat in Crusader history. Yeah, I don't like these three people at all. They just put out that vibe, man. Put out that vibe. Luka men aren't my type. They have to be more manly. Oh my. You see, this is what I'm talking about. Such, such odd things and weird different things some of these people say. Some of them we remember, like this Guado. Some of them we don't. My brother is very strong. That's why Maester Seymour depends on him. Yeah, you see, we remember this person. Uh, that other guy, he took off. Okay, that's that's very annoying. Ugh. I'm thinking of a new business that'll cater to warrior monks. I wonder what they like. Welcome. Ah, uh, no, no, no. Come back anytime. It's a pity about the Crusaders. They were all such devoted fighters. And the little girl with the balloons still here. You know, I'm looking at my balloons. Remember, folks, I got my balloons, too, because of this uh, this girl. One of them is kind of going downward. It's deflating. The others are still up there. I feel sorry for the Crusaders. Everyone is so gloomy. What if the Crusaders just angered Sin? What will we do then? The ship at dock number three brought lots of warrior monks to Luca. I feel much safer now. Well, that's good. Isn't that good? That's that's great. Okay, so with all these warrior monks, it feels more like they're occupying Luca than defending it. Oh wait! Don't go! Oh no, he's he's gone. Oh, off the screen. They always, uh, retrace their steps. You'd think you'd be able to catch them eventually. Well, folks, we backtracked a little bit, and, uh, it's been pretty interesting. It's been pretty fun. I asked a warrior monk out to the cafe, but she called me a spoony bard. Unbelievable. And that just made it. That just made the video, folks. That right there just made the video. Final Fantasy 2. Final Fantasy 4. Really, 2, you know? Uh, lost in translation, that line was put into the American version when Tella called Edward a spoony bard. You spoony bard! Awesome stuff. That just made the video right there, folks. 
And that's why I'm very happy I backtracked. Good stuff. You are a spoony bard, bruh. Anyway, folks, I'm gonna call it a wrap right here, and you know what? We're not done with the backtracking. And who's happy about that? Leave me your comments and let me know. Excuse me, Wedge. Anyway, guys, I am calling it a wrap. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and uh, leave me those comments and tell me what you think. I'm Dave the Usher for the Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I will see you guys next time. I am out.